Today we are going to Ray's Donut Shop again. It is actually uh, where they had those chains blocking the parking lot. So it's been a little while since we've tested it out. This is a different time of day. I'm wondering if the car has a better time actually seeing those chains. And we'll get a little FSD drive out of this. So already navigated to Ray's Donut Shop and we are starting FSD here from park waiting on this person walking in the middle of the she looks like she's lost maybe <laughs> forgot where her car was but now she's out of the way yeah she's uh she's going out here pretty far she <clears throat> doesn't mm, seem to know which side of the street she wants to be on, so I guess she found her car. <laughs> car was a little hesitant uh, around that. Now, right here it says it's going to go and try to do a U-turn, which honestly I don't think you can do there. Also, we should really just turn left, although it is difficult to turn left here. So... I might myself choose to turn right, but I wouldn't do a U-turn because, see now, we could have turned left, no problem there, but we can't do a U-turn here in the middle of the street. So let's see what it tries to do. I'm not going to let it do a U-turn. Uh, we should just turn into this parking lot and then turn around. Yep. Okay. It actually corrected itself. So actually we're now... It re-navigated to a, a different direction entirely, so we don't have to do the U-turn, and then we're going to come out on this other road. So, a little bit of a weird choice, but actually not that bad, honestly, because we end up getting out on the same street we would have anyway. Didn't have to worry about that hard spot to actually turn left, so that was a good choice to change it up a little bit. All right, should be pretty straightforward and easy to get to Ray's Donut Shop from here. But if anything happens, I'll try him back in. So it did take us a little bit to actually speed up to 45 miles per hour there uh, when the speed changed, but you know, people just kind of went around us. It wasn't that big a deal, but I guess my preference would be that we uh, come up to the speed a little quicker. Actually, people don't expect that it's actually a 35 mile per hour zone for that short amount of time on this road. Definitely doesn't seem like it should be. Turns out these people are just turning, so we actually had to slow down for them, <laughs> which is ironic, but whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> Ray's Donut Shop is up here on the right, and I just saw a car drive through where those chains used to be. Uh-oh. So the chains are actually mostly no longer there it would appear so i'm not sure what it's going to do as far as stopping at rays i actually don't want to go to rays but this is actually where the chains used to be um and 
interestingly enough, I think that uh, I think that human drivers have had trouble with the chains as well. So I'll go ahead and take this out here. As you can see, it looks like this actually this chain got ripped up already and the one over there really badly got ripped up it's all over the place that definitely looks like somebody drove straight through that chain didn't see it at all so interesting yeah so it turns out that actually uh yes uh, human drivers also make the same mistake that FSD was doing, even on version 13, where it could not see the chain. Actually, on our hardware 4 car, uh, it was hesitating to go, but I think only because they had these little flags on that chain where it could kind of see those flags sometimes, and it wondered, well, there must be something there. It was kind of trying to go in between the little flags and wasn't really seeing the chain at all. Well, it turns out uh, human drivers apparently, or at least one, just drove straight through these these things, pulled them right out of the ground, um, made quite a mess of it. They're not very good things to put up to block a parking lot, especially because there's nothing wrong with this parking lot and it gives you access to uh, these businesses over here. They're really just bro blocking off this Rite Aid. Uh, it used to be a Rite Aid. It's closed down. But um, yeah, so it's kind of interesting that Actually, human drivers are uh, definitely capable of making mistakes as well. And I would assume that it was more than one uh, human driver because it's actually, it was ripped up on both sides. Unless they, you know, they ran over one and then whoever put them up decided, well, let's take this other one out. I'm not sure. But either way interesting that fsd actually and fsd was actually slower to make that thing so they i i don't know what it would have done because i'm not going to let it hit the the chain with my car uh because definitely gonna scratch it up if nothing else but it would probably have maybe pushed it through or i don't know if it would have noticed that it was actually being slowed down by something uh, interesting to find out um because it's not fsd is not using the ultrasonics or anything anymore it's just using the vision it's the camera so i don't know if it would actually detect if it was running through a chain which would clearly uh have been a problem but anyway so yes fsd version 13 is about as good as the average driver it would seem and there's definitely still edge cases where we need that version 14 or whatever the version it's going to be that's going to actually make FSD two to three times better or even up to 10 times better than the human drivers. As Elon indicated from uh, a recent talk he did, he's hoping that hardware four can actually achieve around a two to three, if not a 10 X uh, human capability of driving. If that's the case, then I would want to see edge cases such as this, the chain, uh, also weird attempts to do U-turns and navigation issues. I would expect those to all be almost completely eliminated. Obviously, there's always going to be some edge case that is not found, uh, but hopefully they're really small edge cases that would not cause a significant accident, such as running through a chain uh, at whatever speed it would have taken to actually rip those things out of the ground, which is pretty crazy. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.